Alright, so Alright, so what's good? Welcome back to the channel. Kareem reacts, all of that. I don't know how you found this video if you did, but I appreciate it if you watch it all the way to the end. Cause my son right here, Force Entity, we're gonna drop some knowledge as usual. And um I'm gonna react to it. I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. So the the title of this is called Iceberg Slim Pimp. Show only the best movies for you on that screen, whether you are pimp or priest. So let's go. Let's let's get into it and see what he's talking about. All right. So this is one of the most important chapters of Iceberg Slim book pimp because it gives you the foundation to what the ism is really all about. It's not about women. Women are a part of the ism, but it's not what the foundation of the ism is. When you build in a house, you don't start with windows. You don't start with doors. You start with a foundation. The doors, the windows, the furniture, everything else is just to add on to that house. That's facts. That's facts. When you start with, when you start with anything, you always start with the foundation first. So, right now, even now, like building this YouTube channel or whatever. All of these videos that I'm pumping out right now, like I'm not big or nothing. So this is still the foundation of my channel. You feel me? Like it's hard to tell what the foundation of my channel really is because I'm dropping mad random different type of content. But I want people to to realize when they come here, they're going to get a whole bunch of different shit. You feel me? They're going to get a little bit of everything. You feel me? They're going to get different con different type of content. You might not see you might not see you might see one video one day and be like oh how he doing this the next day you feel me so how he react into like music over here and then he react into like conscious shit over here or he reacted into this feel me? but foundation is always where you start off um you can't really like you can't really help no one else unless you have a firm foundation for yourself first so always, always remember that that's one thing when you're trying to be a master practitioner of the ism, which I'm trying to be, I don't do nothing half ass or small. That's why sometimes it takes me time to make my videos. I'm not trying to rush the process. You got to trust the process because the foundation need to be sturdy. And this is how you build a sturdy foundation. One aspect of a sturdy foundation in this chapter. So this this happened after he got snaked he got snaked by some girl that he was messing with i believe either the husband found out about their relationship so she acted like it wasn't consensual and he finessed her and stole her car her her keys to her house so he ended up going to jail and he said in prison is where he learned cunning to match his his coldness because he iceberg slim he always been cold but in jail he really learned how to be slick and it's funny because the prison system in the u.s is a failure most people when they go to jail they just get better at being criminals because they're talking to other people who criminal minded and giving them more game you feel me that's All facts right. so he said this is with the og a og in a in a in a in a jam was giving him advice on how to conduct himself he said always remember whether you be sucker or hustler in the world out there, you got that vital edge if you can ironclad your feelings. I picture the human mind as a movie screen. If you're a dopey sucker, you'll just sit and watch all kinds of mind-wrecking damn fool movies on that screen. He says, son, there is no reason except a stupid one for anybody to project on that screen anything that will worry him or dull that vital edge. After all, we are the absolute bosses of what, of that whole theater and show in our minds. We even write the script, so always write positive, dynamic scripts and show only the best movies for you on that screen, whether you be pimp or priest. Basically, basically, you write your own script, but when you think about it on a real note, you really do write your own script because every move, every situation that you put yourself in, every step that you take, you know, you're, you're directing that. You're like, if you wanted to not do anything, you could choose not to do anything. So you really write your own movie. 
So every opportunity you get is because you was in position. You took the steps to be in the right place at the right time to get that opportunity. I mean, so you you really do write your own movie. You're the main character of your movie. If you if shit not moving for you, like I said in the last video, I feel like he be saying shit like that remind me of the underachievers. So in a song called Go So Theory, they said, if you ain't living up your life, it was like, Go So Theory. It was something like, your shit moving slow because you ain't living up your life. So it's, it's really your fault if your shit is moving slow because you have to take those steps. Like, you were lazy. That's why your shit is moving slow. You know what I mean? He said his rundown of his screen theory saved my life and sanity many years later. He was a twisted, wise man. And one day when he wasn't looking, a movie flashed on the screen and the title was Death for an Old Con. He said, I sure missed that convict philosopher. The wisdom he taught me took me successfully through my bit. So this is what you got to understand. Now, this is going to get a little bit deep. For those of you who are base level thinkers and simple minded and, and scary to expand your mind, this might hurt you a little bit because you probably thinking, oh, damn, I'm trying to learn some wisdom for girls. I don't really want to know myself. You can't. How you going to know someone else and you don't know yourself? How you going uh, if um, make an impression on someone else when you don't even have self-discipline? See, there's a lot of niggas like that who, who can't, you know, think deeper. Um, it, it takes some people, it takes them a little, little while, you know, they got to go through shit. They have to live a, until they're like 50 before they actually start thinking a little bit deeper, going beyond the surface, you feel me? But then there's other people who are just naturally like that. Um, it is what it is, but eventually everyone learns, you feel me? Or most people go a little bit deeper, you feel me? Like, eventually it happens, regardless. Plan to make an impression on your own self. You did. This is what you got to understand. Your mind is your projection of your world. However you see the world is really how your mind sees it. It's how it's projecting it. It's a cinema screen of consciousness. You did. Your brain is projecting your reality. That's why some men... It's facts. They pedestalize women. They view her as the prize. Me, I know the value of a real strong, driven man. It's rare to find. Women who look good and could do what majority of these women could do, a dime, a dozen, assembly line. Me, I, I'm different. You ain't never going to find nobody like me, ever. You could look back in time. There's nobody like me that exists. This is my movie. That's another thing. You put you when you pot, pedestalize a woman, you're making. Put that in your mind, son. Recognize that this is your movie. So put yourself on top. Feel me? It's about you. Like stop putting other people on top in your own movie. Feel me? Do what you gotta do. You could do whatever you want, really. Um, but make it about you. You feel me? And this is not about being like selfish or nothing like that, but you got to realize your own worth. And, um, you just have to, you, you really do have to realize that you got to focus on building yourself up to be better. Um, you put other people first, you're going to throw yourself in the dirt, especially if you don't, especially if you don't start off by putting yourself first, first, like I said, you got to have your foundation. Maybe after you, you know, build yourself up and you know your worth, then you could start putting, you could start setting other people up. You could start putting them in certain positions, but like until you build yourself and know yourself first, you can't do that. Or else you're just going to be put in the dirt. You're going to be stepped on. You know what I mean? heard the star of your movie. That don't even make sense. It's your movie and you're making her the star because you're the director in your, in your mind. So when you crying over her, you want her back, you chasing her, you letting her disrespect you, you're making her the star because you gave her that power. Women don't have power. They only have power that men give them. And that's Facts. for everything. 
if you take your attention from it, your energy from it, the power ceases to exist. So in your movie screen, you're only going to tolerate and accept what you project as a mind. You know, some people, they say certain things or do certain things to see how much they can get away with. And they're like, damn, I could get over on this person. So let me go harder. That's what women do to you if you're a sucker. Taking them out on a date. You need me to pick this up for you? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take you and your friends to the store. Bro, and the whole time she gave you nothing. You invested in her mentally, emotionally, physically, and she gave you nothing. That is a simp. Now, on the opposite spectrum, a pimp, he gives her nothing until she invests <laughs> mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially to his process. If she does not do that, that is not his woman. She's just, she's for the street. She belongs to anybody. She doesn't belong to me. You think what I'm saying? You need to paint dynamic scripts on your movie. No, no weakness, no sucker stuff. It's certain things like I can't do because it's weak. Like, bro, I love gas. I love gas, but I'm not going to smoke because gas make me weak. It make me lackadaisical. It make me too free flowing. No, I need to be alert and focused. Now, occasionally I'll indulge, but alcohol, all that, is, if, if it ain't bringing me strength, it's bringing me weakness. I don't tolerate weakness in my screen at all. That's facts. That's why I don't drink or smoke as much. Like, if I do smoke or drink, it's, I'm not, I'm not getting lit, lit. I'm not getting lit off my ass to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm gone, you feel me? Because once you get to that point, it's like you're not even in control of yourself you're letting you're letting your desires and like you're you, you know you're letting all of that other shit control you you're letting it control you you feel me because now you're not a, you're you're still in control but you're not in full control you feel me so gotta gotta recognize that shit you always remember whether you be sucker or hustler in the world, you have that vital edge if you can ironclad your feelings. Dante said it's okay to have feelings, but stay away from emotions. <laughs> he said he think they two different things. You can feel something, but emotions is it's when they take control over you. You you let them just violate you. You let somebody play with your anger, play with your love, play with your hate. If somebody can manipulate your emotions, they can control you. If you say he made me mad, you just gave him power. She it's made facts. me sad, you just gave her power. This is where meditation and spirituality come in. You have to have equanimity. Not getting too hot, not getting too cold, but staying focused in the middle. You did. That's why and most most Equilibrium is all about balance, son. Stay in the middle. The middle path. The middle path. Don't go to left. Don't go to right. You never want to be. As like saying, like, if I was to say it in this, for example, you never want to be a full street nigga. Because now once you're a full street nigga, you fully in the streets. You fully taking all, all the risk. You feel me? You never want to be a full nerd nigga. Because now, now you're a full nerd. <laughs> like, like no one respects you. Like, a lot of people don't respect you like all of that you want to be in the middle you want to be a little bit of a nerd but you also want to be a little gangster at the same time feel me so you want to be intelligent and you want to know like say you're a gangster you in the streets but you some gangsters don't know when to stop some of them don't know when to chill out some of them take shit too far and get themselves shot up feel me you gotta have the intelligence to know when what is the right move when to make it and like that so you really gotta be in the middle with everything son don't be don't be a, even with females you gotta be in the middle you can't be too much of a simp but you should, you also can't just like not give her shit like if that's if if that's your girl or if you want that to be your girl you can't just never give her nothing she's gonna hate you she going eventually she not going to like you um eventually she's going to be tight she's going to realize that you never gave her nothing but like how however long y'all been together so feel me you got to be in the middle 
pimps, bro. They were spiritual. That's why they say church, tabernacle. They say the pimp God. He said, don't, he said, don't you know God made a pimp so who could have a man? It's a million dollar, it's a billion dollar business, but you don't understand, bro. It's 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 spiritual. They 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 control their sexual urges. They don't let anyone control them. Nothing, not even the outside world. They live in their own world. That's why they call our world the square world, cause we're. I ain't gonna. I, I can't give you that. That guy go to Patreon, cause that's when I'm really gonna start talking about that shit over there. But that's another story. All right. It's if you a dopey sucker, you'll just watch all type of mind reckons. Bro, I have a supreme level of confidence. Some people look at it like I'm crazy. Some people might get annoyed by it, but why would I not? <laughs> You're dumb. Why would you not believe in yourself? I don't understand that. Like, I never understood that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to be living, you're going to live. Like, oh, I'm sad. Uh, bro, if that's the case, you might as well call a timeout and just give up on the game. But if you're going to play the game, you might as well have that mental focus. And Facts. Be confident in yourself. Know that, you know, this is your shit. Like, you know, if you don't have that confidence, then eventually... Eventually, it's going it's going to take away from you. You feel me? Um, like, so I when I used to play online, like, like on Xbox or PS4, like I used I used to be so overconfident to the point sometimes, like, I let people come back. Like I'd be playing fighting games or like even like anything, like shooting, like it could be Call of Duty, like. I could be killing you, OD. I'll dead put the controller down and be like, I give you some free hits and I end you before you could you could actually win. Like, bro, be confident to the point where like you're winning by so much, like you could literally take a break. Like, but remember, this shit is a life in terms of life, the game of life, this shit is a marathon, it's not a race. You might see people your age doing shit that you like, oh, I wish I could do. But remember, some of them is going into debt, doing all this shit, like using up hella bread, like not saving nothing. Like, remember, in the long run, it's a marathon. Them people, as, as, yeah, it's a marathon. I'm going to just leave it at that. Mental edge of being the strongest, being the top notch boss you can be, because, yeah mind projects your outer reality and it helps manifest your outer reality it all start with the mind the mind is the king the emotions is the feminine the mind should always not necessarily control the feminine but don't let the feminine control him and that's what the ism is about too but that's a different story for patreon too it ain't about controlling no woman because you can't do that but you cannot let her control you. Exactly. So it's all a mental game. You know I mean, you control your mom properly so that you don't get controlled. Because they, you know, everything is a mind game. Everyone out here is trying to, trying to, trying to, not everyone, but a lot of people be trying to finesse you. So you got a, if you got a strong mind, You'll, you'll never allow them to finesse you, you feel me? And then if you got a strong mind also, you could see situations in which you might be able to take advantage. But no, you can't really you can't really 100% control anyone. So you really just got to see opportunities. You see them. And if it's a good opportunity and you know you should take it and it's beneficial, then go for the opportunity. What are you, like, why not? You feel me? Unless it's something really bad, you feel me? So. You dig. All right, so. Okay. He says, son, there is no reason except the stupid one for anybody to project on that screen. Anything that would worry him, dull that vital edge. Bro, the news, the media, worrying about what women are doing. Like, oh, they doing this and they doing that. Bro, who cares? That's the, They don't have nothing to do with you, bro. Hmm. Nothing. It don't have nothing to do with you. If she's not your woman or contributing to your process, what she does, it does it does not matter. 
that's why sometimes it might be wrong, but a girl will stop talking and she'll break up with me. She said, can we still be friends? No, I don't need friends. I don't, I don't have friends. You, you are, your benefit to me was we were intimate and I, I liked you on that intimate level. I don't need friends because as a friend, you don't contribute nothing to me. <laughs> I contribute good conversation. I could, I contribute good knowledge, spiritual knowledge, material knowledge, a fun conversation, a fun person. You don't do none of that shit. You like me for that. I like you for how you look and what we do and your feminine energy. Once you take that away, our relationship is done. I don't, you don't belong to me no more. You, you're free to go. You did. Side note on alimony. Like, think about alimony when a man get divorced and he got to pay a woman to, for her lifestyle. You were with me. That would let you have my lifestyle. The moment you're not with me no more, you yeah. lose the benefits of being with me. But the system that we live in now in America is skewed to the woman's face. Yeah, once, once, once she, once she not with you, she don't deserve your lifestyle. But you know, they'll take that from you. I said, make it the reverse. Let's say it was opposite, and a woman divorced a man, and the judge said, "Yeah, but you still gotta have sex with him every month." That don't make sense, but this is the society we live in. And you got to protect yourself and your kingdom from the, the nonsense of the society. That's ism. You feel me? This is your world. You got to create your world. And don't let nobody take you outside of your world. It says, so always write positive, dynamic scripts and show only the best movies for you on that screen, whether you be pimp or priest. That's some cold game. So this is just one of my favorite chapters of Iceberg Slim book, Pimp. One of the most important lessons of the ism is mind control, emotional control, and just All believing about your mind. in yourself. And I'm going to talk about more about belief on Patreon because that's that's vital to have an ism. <laughs> you feel me? But, yeah, I mean, this is just a short chapter. There's still more, but, yeah, you, you really... Create your own reality through your mind. Underachievers used to talk about this. I'm going to keep bringing them up. But you create your own reality. And, you know, you really can. Like, you you ever hear people say, um, oh, I'm manifesting this just by talking about it. You feel me? And sometimes people be talking about something so much until they actually do it. So, that's like, I was looking at something today. If you don't know, there's, a, there's, a, there's a guy on Instagram called The Wall Street Trapper. Um, he's also on YouTube too, and he said he posted a video from like two, three years ago when he was um a construction worker. He was on, he was with like mad high up in there, sixty six foot feet up in the air, like working on some some building. He was talking to this guy about stocks and investing, and look at him two years later. He's he's big in terms of stocks and investing. Like so many people watching shit, and so he manifested that just by like. Just by talking about it, he manifested that that what he what he wanted to do. Two years later, he's doing it. You know what I mean? So, you can see more on Patreon, and I'll probably break down another chapter that's that's like P P G, because some of these chapters that's real gritty, and even my old videos that used to be real gritty, and I used to give a lot of game for free. I'm not doing it no more because it's valuable. I realized how valuable it was. To me, a lot of stuff seems simple, so. I don't look at it like I'm really giving no crazy game, but people like, yo, this shit is next level. You should, you should charge for it. Well, thank you for your suggestion, my brother, because now I'm going to charge for it. <laughs> you know, they always say the game is the... Uh, nah. Yeah, like I said, to me, this shit don't sound like nothing too crazy. But, yeah, y'all made them start charging for it. So. So we're not told, so. But I'll break down another chapter that's PG that... that people can look at it and not feel offended and not feel afraid because the deeper you go with this knowledge, the more most people are going to be afraid because they don't understand the true nature between men and women. They don't understand the true nature of women down to its deepest core. A master practitioner of the ism, a gentleman of leisure, knows the deepest, darkest core of female nature and he accepts it. That's another thing. It's a, like... That's a form of... That's a form of disattachment, you feel me? You know it, so you just sit back and you let it rock, you feel me? That's what a lot of people don't do. They don't let things rock, you feel me? 
just let it rock you know just calm down relax yo i mean so many people so hyper so talkative they want to talk about everything and the sun shit that don't even shit that don't even matter and it's like bro be like water son just flow like you don't you don't got to do talking all the time you could sit back you could relax with female nature. You know, a lot of YouTubers talk about female nature. There's female nature that, bro, the best advice that you could get is just to relax. Like, if she like you, she gonna hit you up. If she don't like you, she not gonna hit you up. Of course, you gotta make the first move sometimes. But if she like you, she gonna talk to you. If she don't like you, she not gonna talk to you. It's very obvious, like, Come on now. Ironclad your emotions. Me, I'm I'm a spiritual person, so naturally I'm in tune with my emotions. And I'll talk about this more on Patreon, but your emotions, especially my emotions, they help me relate to a woman. I can't be cold to no woman. Like, part of me going to have feelings for her. I'm not going to deal with her. I'm not one of those people that could pretend to like people. If I don't like you, you will not be around me. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you how you could. Use the emotions to your advantage, but don't let them use you. You dig. So like, share, subscribe, and all that. I agree with that. But if I don't want to talk to you, I don't like you, I don't know you, I'm, it's, it's slow. I'm going to just be that quiet, you feel me? So I don't really know you. I don't want to talk to you. You talk to me, I might talk back to you. It really depends. So everything is situational, you feel me? Like. But I like everything that he said in this video. It really is game for real. Some people, you know, this this shit, I feel like I could have said. Because, like I said, I listened to Underachievers. Like, bro, I was really on some spiritual shit, like, back in the day. I don't do too much of it now because, like, I just be chilling for the most part. But shit is, is, is interesting. It's, it's nice hearing this shit again, like going back to like my old mindset and what i was thinking in the past like it's nice to hear it from someone else for me um like comment su subscribe i'm a i might do his next video too i'm not sure i'm gonna put these two out first and um he dropped another video recently if you see this and um you and you do watch all the way to the end because this is a long video um let me know in the comments if you want me to drop a reaction to more of his videos or his next video um i'll do it or if you want me to make my own video about spirituality or my own video on certain topics, just let me know in the comment section below. And um, I'll definitely drop it. I might drop reactions to the underachievers videos and explain what I think they mean in certain lines and what it has to do with spiritual spirituality. So I might do that.